السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم continuing the chapter where we're exploring uh, the different ahadith where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is giving us many options on sadaqat and how to get chair, uh, how to get rewarded through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the last hadith that we covered was لا تحقرن من المعروف شيئا وَلَوْ أَن تَلْقَ أَخَاكَ بِوَجْهٍ طَلِقٍ or طَلِقٍ where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is telling us that do not disregard, do not regard any good deed as insignificant right? even if it was just meeting with a, a cheerful face with a smile now this hadith is by Abu Hurair radiallahu an the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said and this is similar to one we covered I think one or two weeks ago where he spoke about the joints of the body and how the Prophet وسلم, he said that every day in which the sun rises right, charity is due on behalf of every joint of the body right? this is not yes, in, we're talking about this hadith specific words are regarding the joints of the body but the concept is general meaning that everything that we have we have to be grateful for it. We have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it. And really, truly, you know, we say we are, but if you think about it, and I was just actually talking to one of my uh, friends on the weekend, and he, he had tore his ACL, some you know, the, the ligament in the back of the foot. So he was, we were talking about, you know, on the process and recovery and all that stuff. And he's like, you know, I couldn't even, I couldn't even take a step. Right, as we know, you, you can't, once it's torn, you can't even take a step. You can't put any weight on it. The whole, the whole control of the foot, the, uh, the flexibility and all that is all gone. The mobility, flexibility is all gone. Right? And then that's when we started reflecting and realizing that how many times do I get up anytime I want and just, and I don't even have to think about it. And I never thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He let me move my foot. Right? And this is something that we have to realize. That every time we hop out of bed in the morning, you know, we are going down the stairs, we're going to the bathroom, we're, you know, getting off of our bed, we're getting onto our bed, you know, we're sitting at the table, right? we're stepping on the accelerator. All those things, that one ligament sh cut, and this all stops. And then we, we how, do we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and how many other things are there? Right, we have the, you know, eyelashes, do we, have the, we have the taste buds. We have, you know, there's so many different things if we really think about it, right? right. If, we, if, we, if a person didn't have these, you know, eyelashes or didn't have eyelids, right? All the dust and everything, and we have the scientific things that are, the proofs that are there. All the dust and everything would go into our eyes and we would, they would dry up and whatever else would happen. So this is just the, uh, the concept is general. That, yes, Rasulullah is talking about the joints, but it's for everything that we have. We have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly and really reflect on this. Then he says after that, that how do we, how, how does a person give charity? How does a person thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for these things, specifically the joints? In this hadith, he gives some examples. He says, That if a person is to make, uh, you know, bring two people together, right? If you were to, you know, be a, uh, a person in the middle, and if there, there's two people that are, you know, they're having a, a, a fight or an argument or they're not, you know, their, their relation is not good, to bring them together, to join the ties, to, you know, help, to come to a resolution. This is also a charity. And subhanAllah, this is such a, you know, not only a charity, but it's such a great action that, you know, we know how big of a sin lying is, right? We all know that lying is one of the biggest sins. But in this case, when it comes to bringing two people together, the Sharia allows lying. Right? That's how that's how how serious of an action this is of ta'dilu bayn al ithnain. This is just one example. Then the Prophet sallallahu says, "What to ain of rajul fi dabati?" Getting a helping a person. You know, of course, back in the day, they would be riding on a camel or a horse or you know donkey, whatever it may be, helping a person get on his you know his conveyance. Right? In this case, you know, elderly person getting into the car opening the door for our, you know, for our spouse or for our children, all of this, helping a person. Not only that, but then he says, فَتَحْمِلُهُ عَلَيْهَا to help him get on the, on the conveyance, O تَرْفَعُ لَهُ عَلَيْهَا مَتَعْ help him, you know, put the, the, the stuff that he has, whether, whether for in this case, for example, someone has a, a lot of groceries, 
helping them, you know, uh, helping them put the groceries into their car, or helping a person take the groceries out of the car. There's so many examples, but this is just one example. And then he says, وَكَلِمَةُ الطَّيِّبَ صَدَقَ Even just a good word, saying something nice. You know, uh, you know, mashallah, you know, you're looking very good today. Or subhanAllah, I'm so happy to see you. Or, you know, you know, seeing you makes me happy. Th different things like this. They're very small sentences and we take them for granted. But when a person says it to you, you know, you feel, you feel good inside. This is also a person feeling good. This is also a reward for us. This is also a sadaqah for us. And then, وَبِكُلِّ khatwa تَمْشِيهَا إِلَى الصَّلَةِ A person walking to the masjid person coming to the masjid, in the direction of the masjid, every step is rewarded. Every step is rewarded. And then he says, وَتُمِيتُ الْأَدَىٰ عَنِ الطَّرِيقِ Even moving something out of the, out of the path, this is also a sadaqah. One great opportunity for, you know, for this is on a windy day when it's garbage day on our street. Right? There'll be recycling bins all over the street. There'll be you know, empty garbage bins rolling around. You see all the cars just going around them, going around them, going around them. No one bothers to stop for two seconds and put the bin to the side. Right? This is, when you see this, think of this hadith and be like, you know, I'm going to move this and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant me Jannah for it. We think of it as something small. But Allah is great. He can, for removing the recycling bin, you don't know how many hundreds of people made it easy for them. Allah, Allah may give us Jannah for it. We never know. So anything small, even just moving something out of the way, this is also a charity. And quickly, we'll just go over the next narration, uh, which is connected to the masjid. Uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said also on, uh, from Abu Hurairah radiallahu an. He says, "Man ghada ila al-masjid aw rah." A person who comes to the masjid in the time of dawn and in the time of dusk, basically in the morning and in the evening, right? "Aad Allahu lahu fil jannah nuzula." That Allah subhanahu wa taala prepares a special feast. A special, you know, a spread of food right, for uh, for this person every single time. Kullama ghada urah in Sahih al Bukhari and Sahih al Muslim. That every time a person comes to the masjid, right, morning and evening, the Prophet Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is preparing a spread of food, you know, a feast, a special feast for that person, right. So when we, inshallah, this is what, some of the good deeds that we are doing, and Alhamdulillah, and we can also improve on and improve our intention while we're doing them, especially as we're all here at the masjid. This is a great opportunity for us. Whenever we come, of course, we're coming for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. But also having that intention that, you know, this is uh, the hadith that I learned. And inshallah, I, I keep this in mind that every time I'm coming to the masjid, I'm getting rewarded. So every, every, everything I do that is associated with this, I should make sure it's the best because th I'm presenting this to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all Jannah al firdaus May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all the rewards that we, that we try to achieve. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to increase our rewards in multiple different avenues and diversify. Ameen wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Subhanakallah wa hamdika. Nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Allahumma anta salamu wa anka salamu. Tabarakta ala al-jalali wa al-ikram. Rabbana atina fi al-dunya hasanatan wa fi al-akhirati hasanatan wa qina adab al-nar. Rabbana dhalamna anfusana wa illam taghfirlana wa turhamna lana kunanna min al-khasirin. اللهم عنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم أت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم أجرنا من النار اللهم ادخلنا الجنة بغير حساب اللهم ادخلنا الجنة بغير حساب اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة ونعوذ بك من سختك وغضبك والنار اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر عداك عداء الدين اللهم انصر المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم انصر المسلمين المستضعفين في فلسطين اللهم حرر المسجد الأقصى اللهم احفظ حرمين الشريفين اللهم إنا نسألك من خير ما سألك منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاد منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأنت المستعان وعليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يسفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين ورحمة الله